I don't know. I sort of sort of developed a reputation in Maine as the copa lady. Roxanne J. Munsgaard is one of the owners of Maine Jewelry and Art, who have taken copper from the old Bangor Library Dome to create unique and handcrafted jewelry for several years. People really enjoy historical, like having a part of history. Uh, some people do, and I'm one of those. And I need to know history to know where we've come from. And um, so for me, this is just a very valuable project. Back in 2014, they started a fundraiser project for the Bangor Public Library Renovation Fund and have since donated around $36,000 to the library from selling their jewelry. However, their project was interrupted when they had to close down their shop in Bangor in 2022. Um, Ann and I love making jewelry. Uh, keeping our store open was a, 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 too much work for us. The, the main jewelry and art shop has had the copper from the library for years and years and years, and they've got, they make amazing jewelry. When we heard that they were closing, my wife Jennifer said, we got to go over and we got to take a, take a look at this stuff. The jewelry can now be found at SK Tours in Bangor, which is known for offering tours highlighting Stephen King's work. And the owners say this collaboration has been very popular with their customers. We get to talk a bit about the contributions of the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation, and a lot of it is that library. And our fans are primarily readers. So when we talk about the, some of their contributions to the city and we talk about the library, for them to be able to take a piece of that home with them is, is pretty awesome. The jewelry can also be purchased online. However, the owners are very happy to be selling their work on store shelves in town again. So being able to continue to make jewelry as a, quote, retired woman is really special, especially knowing that it's so well loved. In Bangor, Grace Blanchard, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.